Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to create a pause menu for your game. So this will allow you to actually pause the game and then show a menu from which you can resume the game or quit it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is actually create our pause menu widget. So to do that, I'm going to create a new folder to keep it nice and organized. I'm going to just call this pause menu like so. Open that up and then in here I'm going to right click, go to user interface and then widget blueprint. And I'm going to call this pause menu widget like so just so i know what it is and we're going to open that up straight away now this is where we're going to design what it looks like and also add the button functionalities so what we're going to do is i'm going to just have the background so it's blurred so you can kind of see the game but it's a blur kind of thing so you can focus on the buttons and the menu itself so to do that what we're going to do is get a blur from up at the top left here background blur search in the palette drag and drop it in there i'm just going to set the position x to zero position y to zero size x to 1920 size y to 1080 or just basically how big your screen is and i'm going to anchor it to the whole screen there so it doesn't move the z order i'm going to put as minus one so it's going to be behind everything that we want so it doesn't blur anything else and down here under blur strength i'm going to set this to five obviously you can see there how blurred it is so if you have it as two if you like that or three so i think i'll have it as three for the moment actually obviously mess about with this to get the perfect value for you and obviously you'll be able to see better what it looks like when you actually put it in your game and you can just easily change it from here so next we're going to add the buttons so i just compile this and then add the buttons so here you can drag in the buttons now i don't want it that big so i'm just going to drag and drop it onto the canvas panel there you can see that's how big it is i'm just going to scale up to be around that big i reckon and anchor it to the middle so it doesn't move from the position it's supposed to be in so i think that's good so i'll just put it there like that so I think that will be good for me, that positioning. I'm just gonna call this one resume button as that's what I want it to do. So like that, the style, I might change this. So on normal, let's say it's white like that. On hovered, we'll change it to a little bit of gray. And then on press, so when you press it, it's black. Now you don't need to do this and you can customize this completely differently if you want but I'm just doing this so you know kind of when you're hovering over it and when you press it and all that good stuff. And what we're gonna do is drag some text onto this. So over the top left here again in the palette, drag text place it onto the button. This one I'm gonna call resume text. And then in the actual text down here, so text block, I'm gonna put resume like that. And here you can change the color, the font, all of that. But I don't really need to or want to do any of that at the moment. But obviously you can, you have the options there. But I think for me, that would be good. I'm however gonna change the size, which is also under font. You can just drag that up like that to get how big you want it to be. So I think 53 would be good for me. And what I'm gonna do is just simply duplicate this to get our quit button. I just hit Control C and then select the canvas panel in the hierarchy down here. Hit Control V, we then have another one, and again line this up to where I want it to be. So I think that'll be good. And then I'm just going to call this one Quit instead of Resume. And you can add as many buttons as you want. So you can add options, credits, all this. But this is just what I'm using at the moment and how I want it to be. And I'm just showing you the basic functionality of how to get it all working. So I think that looks good for the moment. And also just add text up at the top up here just to say that it is paused just so you know that it is so i'll do that and again i'll just scale this up to actually size content anchor it to the top middle there and i think that'll be good now it's quite big but again you change this to however you want so that looks good design wise now let's add the functionality so if we click on the resume button here so have it selected scroll down on the bottom right to on clicked press that we now have an on clicked event for the resume button so when you click this, it's going to fire off this code. And then we'll also get one for quit button. So here, quit button, on clicked. This one is simple. We're just going to get quit game like this. And then resume, we'll do in a minute. So we'll set up the functionality to actually pause the game and all that good stuff first. And then we'll get back to this one. So if we minimize this and go to our player character, so we can just select it here, edit third person character or whichever character you have, what we can do is create a way to pause the game. So you can create an action mapping for this, but I'm just going to get the escape key. So I just get escape like that. So when you press escape, it will pause the game as that's the most common one, but you can change this to whatever you like, obviously. And we want to have this execute when pause ticked up there which means you can then use escape to unpause the game as well when the game is paused. So that's very important to have. Then what we're gonna do is come off of the pressed and get a flip flop like this. And off A, we're gonna create widget like this. This widget is gonna be our pause menu that we just created. So pause menu widget there. Return value, we're gonna to add to viewport, meaning that we then see this. And then after this, we're gonna simply pause game. So set game paused. I'm gonna set this to true 
so the game is paused. And then off of B, so when you press it again to unpause the menu, to unpause the game, sorry, we're gonna come off of B, like I say, and we're gonna remove from parent, untick context sensitive like that, remove from parent. The target of this is gonna be the return value of that widget that we just created. And what this is gonna do is just take this menu, this pause menu off of our screen. And then we're gonna, again, come out of this, set, do set game paused. But again, this time we're gonna leave it to unticked so the game is no longer paused. So that would work like this. That'll be the functionality for that done. So now if we just finish off the menu to have the resume button work, if we come here, on click, drag out, set, game paused like that. And what we can do is just leave that unticked like that so the game is no longer paused. And then also again, remove from parent like so. So we're unpausing the game and taking this off of our screen. So this should work now. So if we hit compile, minimize and hit play to test this. You can see that if we hit escape, obviously that didn't work, that took me out of the game because you need to be in standalone game to use that because otherwise escape will just remove you out of the game. So that's my bad, we'll try that again. So we're now in our game. What I'm gonna do is just type in the command set res 1920 by 1080 to make this full screen like that. And we can see as we can move about, if we jump, press escape, the game pauses. So we're no longer falling because the game is paused. We then have this menu here where it looks all good. We've got the blur, we've got our two buttons and pause at the top. However, you can see we don't have our mouse cursor. And so that is something else we need to fix, which I just forgot about. So we'll do that now. So to fix that, we go back into our pause menu widget here, actually third person character here. And what we're gonna do is off the first escaped, we're gonna set show mouse cursor here, but untake context sensitive again and type this in. So set show mouse cursor there, that top one. We're gonna set this to true and then we'll set this to false again off of this one here. Set to false, if we hit compile, we do need the targets and they will just be get player controller like that. So that can be plugged into both of those as that target, hit compile, that now works. And so now again, we'll get this for the widget as well. So when we pause it, we pause the game and show the mouse cursor and then when we unpause it we're not going to show it anymore so if we do the same here plug that in there so show mouse cursor to not true when we then unpause the game from here as well this should now work a treat so if we try this again so compile minimize hit play to test save all this obviously and then i'll do the same command to go into full screen which obviously you don't need to do it's not necessary but it just looks a lot nicer for testing out so i'll let this load there we go set res 1920 by 1080 we now have full screen we can jump, the game's paused. We have our mouse cursor here again, paused. If we hit resume, we then have resumed the game like so. And then if we hit quit, the game should close like that. So that works perfectly. So I'll show you this again, as I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want us to do, we've created our main menu widget. And when we press escape, the game pauses, it shows that widget and it looks great. So we have the background blur, the buttons, and the font. So the game's paused, we've got the background blur, it says pause at the top, we have our two buttons for resume and quit, which the functionality both work, and obviously you can customize this however you like and add as much detail into them as you want. And obviously escape also works in here as well. So if we're in here and press escape, that works perfectly. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.